Hey guys, my name is Menno, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Android Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is to check what version of Windows we're running right here. So on this PC, we're going to right click and click on properties. Or you can search for this PC and right click on here and select properties. And under system type, it will tell you uh, what what version of Windows you're running. In my case, it's running a 32-bit operating system. In your case, it's most likely going to be a 64-bit. So we're going to open up our Google Chrome here. I'm going to search for JDK, which is the Java Development Kit. I'm going to click on the first link here. And on this page, we're going to click on this download button right here. Which says JDK download. Now we're going to click on accept license agreement right here. We can scroll down a bit. And I'm going to want to search for Windows x86, which basically means 32 bit. If you're running 64 bit, you're going to need this one under it. And because I'm running 32 bit, I need to get this one. So we're going to click on it to download. We're going to wait for this to download and then we're going to install it. So now that it's done downloading, we're going to open up our download folder. It should be right here. Here it is. JDK. We're going to double click on it to start the installation. There it is. I'm going to click on next. If you want to change the drive letter uh, for its installation, so you don't want it to be installed on your primary drive, you can click on change here. You can change the drive letter here if you so wish. I'm just going to install this on the C drive, so I'm just going to click next. For some reason I just got prompted again on which drive I want to install this to. I'm just going to hit next again. And after it's done installing, I'm going to hit the close button. I'm going to close our downloads folder. Now we're going to Google for Android Studio. So we're going to go Google for Android Studio download. And we're going to click on this right here, installing the Android SDK. And we're going to click on Android Studio. And then we're going to click on download it now. And click on download Android Studio for Windows. Accept the terms and conditions after you've read them. I'm going to click on download Android Studio for Windows. Now this is a pretty large file so the download may take a lot of time. So while Android Studio is downloading, we're going to set a Java Home System variable. And to do this, we're going to go into our start menu. We're going to look for this PC. I'm going to right click on it. Click on properties. You want to click on Advanced System Settings right here. Now it will pop up another screen. And here we want to click on Environment Variables. And under System Variables, which is the bottom uh, like window down here, we're going to click on New. We're going to make a new System Variables. We're going to name this Java underscore Home, all in capital letters. And for the variable value, you will need the directory of your Java home. So go on to browse for where we installed our JDK. So I'm just going to open up a new browser window here, File Explorer. And go to this PC. It should be on my C drive, because that's where I installed it. I'm going to go to Program Files, uh, Java, and JDK, not JRE, but JDK. This is the one we need. Now we're going to go to the address bar here. Just click on it on the right. So we'll select all of this. I'm going to click on Copy. Now we're going to go back to our other screen for our new system variable. We're going to paste this line here in our variable value. I'm going to click on home. 
And after you did that, you can just close all these windows off. And after Android Studio is done downloading, we're going to install our Android Studio. Right, so first thing we're going to click on Next. Uh, next again. And I agree to agree with the agreement. These are all of the de uh, default folders. You can change these if you want, but I'm just going to leave them as they are, as it's, this is fine. I'm just going to hit next. I'm going to hit install. And now we're going to just wait for uh, Android Studio to be done installing. And when it's done installing, we're going to click on next. We're going to click on finish. And this will automatically start up our Android Studio. We're going to give this a few seconds. And that was asking me if I want to import previous uh, settings from a previous installation of uh, Android Studio, which I do not have in this case. So I'm just going to hit OK. The Windows Firewall is asking for permission. I'm just going to allow all access. Now it's going to download some more components for Android Studio. I'm going to click on Show Details to show the details of this. I'm just going to give this a minute. And after done installing the additional components, we're going to click on Finish. Here's our Android Studio. We can open an existing Android Studio project or start a new one. For this example, I'm going to open an existing Android Studio project, which is located right here on my desktop on the left. So I'm going to go to my C drive, Users, and my name. Go under Desktop. And here we got our test app. I'm going to hit OK. I was going to prompt you for the tip of the day. You can turn this off if you want. For now, I'm just going to leave this on. Click on Close. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to click on this Android right here. I'm going to click on Project. And here it will show all the project folders and files. So that's it for this tutorial. Please leave a like if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. And also, you can follow me on Facebook if you want. And... Stay nerdy.